my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. On this 19th Sunday of Ordinary Time, the readings invite us to reflect on three points. The letter to the Hebrews speaks about faith, and it defines faith as the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. And the author gives the example of Abraham, the father of faith, when he was asked to leave his father's land and move to an unknown land. He blindly obeyed the command of God and left his father's land. And he had to travel for years before he could see that promised land. Again, God told him, that he will have sons like the sons at the seashore. But he had to wait for years before he could even find a single son. And yet we call Abraham as the father of faith. As Christians, we all profess that we have faith. Without faith, we cannot call ourselves as Christians. But the question that we need to ask ourselves, what kind of faith do we profess? Often, we want immediate results for our faith. When God is not answering our prayers, our faith is weakened. When things don't happen the way we wish, we begin to question our faith. But in the scripture, we find men of God, women of God, who have relied totally on God and waited patiently for God to act in their lives. And so, faith means waiting patiently for God to act in our lives. The second point I want us to reflect is about storing treasures. We understand storing treasures means securing our future. And in the world, we find our security on material things. And we try to secure our tomorrow by accumulating material things. But Christ is very clear when he says that we need to store treasures in heaven where no one can destroy it. How can we store treasures for ourselves in heaven? Can we truly go there and put our treasures in heaven? But Jesus teaches us we can store our treasures in heaven by loving our brothers and sisters, showing compassion to the people in need, sharing our resources and our talents with the people around us, fighting for justice and standing for truth. And if we are able to practice the Christian values, we are truly storing treasures for us in heaven. And that treasure will definitely give us assurance for our future. And that assurance is nothing but eternal life. And finally, the gospel also teaches us about the need to be prepared all the time. We cannot wait for a period of time, but we need to be prepared all the time because we do not know at what time God will come to us. Whenever God chooses to come to us, we need to be prepared to meet him. We cannot say, when I get old, I have time to prepare myself to meet the Lord. But the Lord can come today at this very moment. Am I ready and prepared to meet my Lord? As Christians, we are called to bear witness to our Lord here on this earth. For us to bear that witness, we need to be men and women of faith. We need to be people 
who stored treasures in heaven and we need to be people who are prepared all the time let us pray for the grace to live our christian identity and bear witness to our lord may god bless each and every one of us in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen